Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my makeup to take another driver's license picture because the one that I have is absolutely horrible. I look orange like Donald Trump and I don't want that. So today I'm going to be retaking my picture and renewing my driver's license. I have my makeup all set up here in front of me on my bed. So we're gonna do something very very simple, very natural, very matte because I don't want the flash to kind of make myself look weird. And now we stuck with this picture for a year, so I just wanted it to be like at least decent. <laughs> I'm not asking for much. I just want to look like me, not orange and not, I don't know, the other picture is just awkward. <laughs> Whenever I go to concerts and I have to like give the ticket person like my ID to check that I'm over 21 um <laughs> they always have to do like a double take they're just like and then I'm just having to defend my decisions in high school so yeah I don't want that anymore <laughs> so I'm going to be doing my makeup right now I'm going to start off with primer I'm using the Smashbox photo finish primer just to cover the pores and also to prime the face because I'm going to be using a very matte foundation right now. Since I'm going to be using powder foundation, I'm actually going to use my cream concealer first. This is the Kat Von D Locket Concealer Cream and I use the shade L7. And I'm going to apply it underneath my eyes on any post acne scarring. Well, not even scarring, it's just pigmentation now. And, um, a little bit on the center too just to kind of highlight a little bit just a little bit and this is the finished look this is how i'm going to be taking my driver's license photo thanks for watching subscribe no this is not it imagine if i were to go like this it would be like stand there don't smile <laughs> there you go the brush that i'm using right now is the real technique setting brush which I always recommend for concealer. It just blends it out so well. Okay, the reason why I'm doing this is to warm up the formula, especially since the Kat Von D one is very, very matte. I want to kind of just make it sink a little bit better into my into my skin so this is going to give it a little bit more of a softer look for foundation i'm going to be using a photo ready foundation and this is the bare minerals bare pro powder foundation not the liquid the powder the powder has absolutely no sunscreen so it's ideal for photography it won't create any bounce back but this is a very, very, very matte. I don't really like it for every day just because even on my oily skin, I find it to be too matte. And if I do have any acne that's drying up, it kind of clings onto the dry spots. So it's not my favorite, but I'm going to be using it today because I know that it photographs really, really beautifully. So I have two shades right here. This is 03 Champagne and 08 Golden Ivory, which are the same two shades that I use in the liquid version. To apply them, I'm just going to take a little bit of each color just because I'm in between shades at the moment. So I have to kind of create something that's in the middle of these two. And I'm just going to start swiping it all over my face. This brush is from Lab Squared Beauty. It is the Lux, I believe the Lux 8 brush, which works super well with this foundation. Since I did apply one initial layer of concealer, I'm not gonna be using too much foundation. So this is more to just like even out the complexion if anything. Okay, I'm just gonna go with the tiniest bit of concealer where I still see some of my post acne scarring kind of peeking through. And this time around, I'm just gonna use my finger to tap it in. Now I'm going to sculpt and add some color to my face. I'm going to be using another product by Bare Minerals. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Contour Trio. And my shade is in fair to medium. So it looks like this. I've used it before in videos. I'm going to add 
shadows to my face just because the flash does make the face look a little bit more flat so I want to add some dimension back to my face. I'm also going to be using the blend shade which is like a bronze, a matte bronzer. <laughs> there we go. And I'm going to add a little bit of the pop where I would add a shimmery highlighter because I don't want to go with a shimmery highlighter. That's a big no-no when it comes to flash photography so I'm going to use a matte one instead. So I'm just going to start adding this. As you can see, I'm already getting some shape to my face. I'm so happy. I'm going to do the temples just a little bit. I do have bangs, so I'm not going to go all the way up. Tiny bit on the jaw. Now I'm going to start blending everything, making sure it looks soft. I'm also going to slightly contour my nose. Now I'm going to go in with the blend shade, just a little bit higher than the contour. Went a little bit crazy on this side, I need to blend it out. But this will add some warmth to my face, but not an orange warmth, just a, a nice healthy glow. Like I actually, you know, go outside once in a while. And the last color that I'm going to be using is pop. Now using the pop shade I'm going to almost make like a little triangle. So I'm going to pull it up here, down here. So I'm going to illuminate all that area. I'm also going to carry it down the bridge of my nose and add it a tiny, and add a tiny bit onto my forehead. For today's look, I'm going to go in with a very matte blush. This is from Besame Cosmetics and it's in the shade 1915 Rose. I'm going to take a little bit on my NYX brush, tap off the excess, and I'm going to lightly add some color right on the apples of my cheek and I'm sweeping upwards. I really like this brush because it applies a very soft wash of color because otherwise this shade can be very, very pink as you can see. So I like that this picks up a really small amount so that way you can intensify the color if you want it to but I'm gonna leave it like this I'm just gonna make it a little bit softer but I do want to go just a little bit heavier than maybe I would normally do because of the flash now moving on to the eyes the first thing I'm going to do is prime them using the NARS smudge proof eyeshadow primer all the eyeshadows that I will be using for today's look will be from ColourPop. This is just my ColourPop palette. So I'm going to keep it, once again, very, very matte. I'm going to go in with this guy. I'll add the color in the screen because I don't know the shade. I'm going to sweep it all over the mobile eyelid area. And then I'm going to diffuse it all over the eyelid area. I'm going to go in with this color right here, and this will be my crease color. Now I'm going to go in with a darker shade, and I'm going to apply it in the outer corner. Last but not least, I'm going to take a darker color, and this is also going to go in the outer corner. I'm also going to be grabbing the third color that I use. I'm going to be applying it just slightly on the lower lash line. So that's it for eyes. Now I'm quickly filling in my brows using the Milk Makeup Gel Brow and I use the darkest shade which is, what's the darkest shade? Dark Brew. So I lightly run the pencil through my brows and then I just brush them upwards just to make them look fluffier than they already are. For this particular look, I'm not going to line my eyes, but I will tight line. Because I just want the lashes to look thicker, but I don't want to do anything too dramatic like a winged liner or anything like that. And now for mascara, I'm using the Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Mascara. 
This one's in the color black and I'm going to be adding around two to three coats just to build them up and I like brushing the lashes outwards to create a more fanned out look. And the final step is to add a lip color. I'm also going to do something matte. Surprise, surprise. This is the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick by Kat Von D in the shade Lolita. And this is the finished look. It might be a little too much for some of you, but for me, this is, this is good. <laughs> I look like myself a little bit more, you know, obviously a little bit more matte, a little bit more defined, but this is something that I would be so happy if it ends up <laughs> in my driver's license photo, which it will, but I just hope I don't look like a massive derp in the um. picture. I don't know, I'm just such an awkward picture taker, although I take a lot of selfies and Snapchats and all of that, but you know how it goes. It's always when someone else is taking your picture that you look like the absolute worst. <laughs> so I'm hoping it looks decent, like I said. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And also let me know if you like your driver's license photo or your passport photo. My passport photo is okay. I have reddish hair in that photo. <laughs> so I'm also waiting for that time to come around again so I can take a new picture and hopefully that one will be de decent. But um, yeah, I'm not so happy with my passport photo either. So that's another thing. That's for another day. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're brand new to this channel, please take the moment to subscribe to get brand new videos from me. Hit that notification bell. Can't believe I'm actually saying that, but I am. <laughs> and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye! Hello! Merry Christmas! It is... 3.21pm! <laughs> I'm getting a really late start in the day. But, um, yeah. Well, I didn't wake up at this time. Don't think I'm that lazy. <laughs> Got up in the morning, ate Christmas Eve, 